Hey guys, I'm back with another video and as I said last week, today I'm going to be telling you what I like and dislike about K-pop. So to start, I'm going to do the things that I dislike first. Number one, the fact that your friends or family don't understand why you like K-pop. They may say things like, why do you listen to it? It's in a different language. Or how can you even understand it? But you know the saying, never judge a book by its cover. But here we are judging songs by their languages. There are many pop songs that have different languages in them, like Spanish, and there are some rap songs that go so fast that you can't even hear what they're saying. But even if you don't understand K-pop, you don't have to dislike it. Number two, the fact that some people, your parents, think that it's useless to buy K-pop merch, clothes, or albums. They think it's a waste of money. But in my opinion, and my opinion only, I think that if it's something that you really want and you're willing to pay money for it, that you should go ahead and buy it but don't do so if your parents have already told you no. The third and final thing I don't necessarily dislike, I just find it kind of annoying, when people release a ton of songs around the same time, because like, as has just happened now, um, Jenny released her solo song, Solo. There's Press's new album, Yes or Yes, BTS and Steve Aoki's collaboration, Wasted On Me, and Dua Lipa and Blackpink's collaboration, Kiss and Make Up. This can be annoying for some people because they want to or just like to buy all the songs so they can be up to date, but for me, I like to journal all of the new songs that come out, so when I'm trying to journal for everything, it can take up a little bit more time than I would like. Now onto the things that I like. Now there's a lot of things that I like about K-pop, so I'm just going to say a few ones that maybe aren't quite obvious. Number one, I like the fact that when you find someone else who listens to K-pop, it's easy to become friends because there's something to relate to. Since I just started listening to K-pop at the beginning of this school year, I was super worried that I wouldn't be able to find anyone else to connect with, but I eventually did find a few people, and I'm super happy because we get to share and connect with each other through our different opinions. Number two, I love that there's a huge variety of groups to choose from, so you don't only have to listen to one group, and there are just boy groups, just girl groups, and a mix of the two genders, depending on what you like. And lastly, I love that for me, it gave me a lot more creativity. As you can see, because I started a K-pop journal, and I've also started learning how to play some of their songs on the piano. Now, I already took piano lessons, but I have recently stopped because I've had so many activities. But it was super cool that I started to learn more songs again. And if you want to see what K-pop songs I'm playing, I made a Journal With Me video on that, which I will link in the i button if you want to check that out. Okay, so that's it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I also want you to comment down below what your favorite thing about K-pop is. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day.